what's up everybody welcome back to the channel so this video is going to be a bit of a follow-up to my last tutorial where i showed you guys how you can create some really cool procedural gas giants in blender so in this video i'm going to show you guys how i create planetary rings like we see on saturn completely procedurally also some of you astro nerds might know already but all of the gas giants in our solar system actually do have rings it's just that saturns are the most prevalent so in addition as being used as a magnificent sort of focal piece for your renders, these can also just add a little bit more realism and detail to your other artwork that's more focused on the planet or the planetary system. So jumping in, I'm starting out with the file that we left off on in the last video. You don't really need anything here, but it is nice to have sort of a center planet to work around just to have a bit of a reference point. I'll jump back into my layout. And of course, just real quick, my render settings again are 128 render samples working in cycles with GPU and for color management, medium high contrast. Now to make the rings, we're going to go ahead and add in a circle. Let's give this 256 vertices, tab into edit mode, scale this up just a little bit, then hit E to extrude and S to scale and make these into an actual sort of ring. Tab back out, and we'll head over to our shader workspace. Now I'm actually going to hide our planet for now, just so that everything renders a bit quicker, and we'll give our ring a new material. I'll rename this to ring, and mark that there. Then I'm going to actually go ahead and delete the principled BSDF, shift A, and grab a Musgrave texture. I'll slide this over here, set it to multifractal, then press Control T to bring up this texture coordinate node. We'll use the object coordinates, but then we're actually going to go grab a vector math node, plug this in here, and set it to length. Now, if we plug this into the vector of our Musgrave, you can see we get these actual like ring striations. Now I'm gonna lower my scale here, a lot lower, something around a 1.5. Give it a bit more detail, lower that dimension, not quite to zero because that'll make your machine slow down a lot, but something like that is pretty good. Then you can always just duplicate this, set it to add, Plug it in here, and if you slide the Z value, you get a very like randomized seed effect. There we go. Then I'm going to Control Shift D, duplicate this texture. And for this, I'm going to go with a scale just a little bit larger and a dimension closer to like a 0.3, but with a much higher detail. Now we'll leave that alone just for a minute. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a map range node. Because the Musgrave texture doesn't work on values of 0 to 1, it actually works more closely on values of 0 to 2. Then we're going to grab a color ramp. And you can just select anything you like, of course. I'm going to switch this to cardinal, just so that we get a bit more detail in our coloring. And I'll make these all some sort of like brownish tan there we go now obviously this is a look amazing right now because it's just emitting light but once we alter it a little bit it'll look pretty nice I am going to add in a hue saturation value node And this is just a nice way to add a little bit more overall control because it's a little bit difficult to think in terms of just individual colors sometimes. So if I make these like a bluish and then just lower this down a touch, you can see that gives a nice effect. Now we're going to go ahead and grab a mix node. Actually, you can select the mix color directly, switch this to multiply. Then we are going to duplicate our map range node, plug this Musgrave into here, 
grab another color ramp. And plug these in together. Switch this to ease. And just make this a little bit more than absolute black. Make this a little bit below absolute white. Then we're just going to sort of tighten these up. This will help add a little bit more hard edging to our soft edges here. And of course, you can always adjust your random value here. That looks pretty cool, I think. I might raise my value here just a touch more. Set this all the way over. And there we go. Now, for the actual shader part of this, we're just going to grab a diffuse BSDF, plug this into here, grab an add shader, grab a glossy BSDF, plug in the color, set the roughness to something around a 0 0.6, 0 0.7, plug these in here, then we're going to grab a translucent BSDF, Plug this in here, add shader again, and add in this. And now we have more or less our color, if you want to think about it. However, if you know planetary rings, they also have translucency. And so, because there's not just a whole solid band, it's a bunch of little bands that together look like one large ring. And so this next part's going to really up our realism. Go ahead and control shift D these Musgrave textures. And go ahead and grab a color ramp. There we go. Now for this top Musgrave, we're going to make this our fine detail. So I'm going to up my scale to around a 2. Detail to max. And I'll raise up my dimension just a touch. So that way it's not too insane. Plug this into a color ramp, set it to ease, and we'll just crunch these values a little bit. Then Shift D, come down here. We'll give this a scale of like two, maybe a little bit more, two and a half ish. And dimension, we'll set it to around one, maybe 1.1. 1 .1. And detail, we'll lower to around a five plug this in, and for this one we're really going to crunch our values. So we'll do something like this, then come and grab our mix multiply node, plug these two in, and actually do this order, and then we can lower this a touch. Now we'll grab a mix shader node, plug this in here, and grab a transparent BSDF, plug this into the top actually, then plug this into the bottom, and plug our color output into here. Then we can grab a map range node, plug this in, and we can use this to sort of crunch our values a bit. So make a little bit more sort of non-ring area, and make sure that there's always just a little bit of transparency. Because again, these aren't solid objects. They're just collections of asteroids. And yeah, that's looking pretty nice to me. As you can see, if we align this with the sun, we get that nice glare reflection from the light. And we'll turn our planet back on. There we go. Now, I really recommend playing with these random values, guys. They give you a lot of control, and you can create some really artistic looks with just a little bit of fidgeting. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then consider liking, subscribing, all that YouTube jazz. And if you guys have any ideas for things you'd like me to tackle or things you'd like me to make videos about, then make sure to leave those down in the comments. I do read those all, and you guys are a great source of inspiration. I've also been making headway on my more professional... I've also been making headway on my more pro 
procedural gas giant shader. I've made it now so that it animates very well. You get some very consistently good results. And hopefully I'll be able to put that out onto Gumroad in the coming month or so. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.